ABC Charlotte mobile app. We have alerts, live interactive radar. It'll help you track the storms as they move through. Our other top story tonight at six thousands of teachers receiving a failing grade. Almost 2400 elementary school teachers in North Carolina have failed the math portion of their licensing exams, putting their careers in jeopardy. Failure rates have spiked as schools around the state struggle to fill hundreds of vacancies, but teachers are frustrated, saying the problem isn't them, it's the test. NBC Charlotte's Tanya Mendes spoke to one teacher who says she is losing colleagues at an alarming rate. Yeah, we talked to teachers today who say that that test is not painting an accurate picture of what's actually taking place. Teachers say it's tough enough being in the classroom right now and now morale is even lower. Kids in elementary school have to learn how to add and subtract, but a new test their teachers have to take is adding up to failure. In the end, children suffer. The new state mandated math test for new teachers licenses in North Carolina rolled out four years ago, and ever since teachers have been failing at record numbers. In fact, the latest passing rate on the new exam, just 54%. Simple math will tell you that means nearly half are failing. The result, those teachers are losing their licenses. We're losing good teachers right now. Great teachers. Third grade teacher Krista Rick says elementary teachers are never trained in advanced math. But as a third grade teacher, knowing 10th, 11th, 12th grade, how to teach children at that level doesn't help me at all. The last time many took high school math classes right. is when they were in high school. And these teachers have proven that they know how to teach, they know their content, and they do it well. But then the state is saying, sorry, it's not good enough, and they're losing their jobs. Losing otherwise qualified teachers at a time when districts across the state are struggling to hire teachers. In a profession where we are constantly feeling like we have to fight for respect, we feel like this is just another thing coming our way to show that we are not good enough or incompetent. Ricks is hoping the state takes a hard look at the test itself before too many teachers drop out. The last thing we want to do is to model for our students to give up, you know, but at some point you have to kind of think about other options. So we did reach out to the area's largest district to see what they think about this. CMS, they've had a ton of challenges filling all of their places in the classrooms. They did not get back to us, though.